Hey everyone, Triple Dice here, and today we're going to talk about the level 19 Paladin Twink that focuses purely on flag carrying. In my opinion, the Paladin is the best flag carrier in the 19 bracket, and that is because of two reasons. Very high armor and blessing of freedom. Since we can wear male armor and a shield as well, we can reach over 50% physical damage reduction, and that is very nice against melee classes, especially rogues. Blessing of Freedom makes us immune to movement impairing effects, and this blessing lasts up to 16 seconds on a 20 second cooldown. This skill alone is the whole reason to make a Paladin Twink in my opinion. You will be immune to Frost Nova, Entangling Roots, Hamstrings, Frost Bolts and all the other slow effects you can think of. This is massively overpowered when it comes to carrying flags in Warsong Gulch. Druids are still pretty good carriers in the 19 bracket, but since they don't have cat form and therefore no increased speed, I would have to give the edge to the paladins. Now before we get into the gear, let's first talk about the talents. In the 19 bracket you only get 10 talent points, so your options are pretty limited. For a paladin, that's okay though, since the only talent we really want is Guardian's Favor. The reduced cooldown on Blessing of Protection is very nice, but the real reason we're picking this up is the increased duration on Blessing of Freedom. Blessing of Freedom lasts for 10 seconds, but with this talent you will increase that to 16. Like I said before, the cooldown is only 20 seconds, so the uptime on this is very high. Even if I was a Red Tree Pali on level 19, I'd still go for this. To reach this talent, you need to spend 5 points in the Protection Tree first. Obviously we are going for redoubt here, since we're wearing a shield and we will be receiving a lot of critical hits. After you've spent those points, you will have 3 leftover points and my suggestion would be to put them into toughness for a bit more armor. But you can go for divine intellect as well. More mana is always nice since you want to make sure you can keep casting your blessings. Now let's talk about the gear. The primary focus here is to get as much stamina as possible, since we want to be able to survive as long as possible. The strength is less important but still has a small impact on carrying flags, since it increases the damage we deal, but also increases the damage we block with our shield and we will be blocking many attacks every single fight. Agility is not to be underestimated for our paladin, since it increases our armor rating and our chance to dodge. Being able to dodge more attacks is beautiful as a flag carrier. Now, let's start with the hat item. There really is only one option here, and that's the lucky fishing hat, because it gives 15 stamina, but you really have to be lucky to get this, so in the meantime we will use the green tinted goggles you get from engineering. Slap a 100 HP enchant on this for the highest hit point increase possible on this level. The shoulders will be the Talbar mantle. This is the only option as a 19 twink, no matter what class or spec you play, since there are no other shoulders with plus stats on them. To get this, you need to kill the murloc at the end of the Wailing Caverns dungeon. He will drop an item that starts the quest chain. The cloak will be the sentry cloak. You can get this off the auction house for a very cheap price. As for the enchants, you have two options here. Plus 3 agility or plus 5 all resist. I went for resist myself since my dwarf already has 10 frost resistance and this will bump it up a bit increasing my chance to resist frost spells. If you want more dodge and armor, go for agility instead. The chest item has to be the blackened defias armor that drops off Van Cleef in the dead mines. The stamina on this chest is just too high to pass up. Make sure to get this in time since the drop rate is not really high. The strength and agility on this chest are always welcome, and besides that, this item just looks really cool. I'm still rocking this transmog on my retail rogue. Enchant this with 100 HP for more survivability. For the bracers, we want the beetle clasps, with a superior stamina enchant. This item is a reward from a Black Fathom Deeps quest, and this quest is pretty straightforward. You will get this automatically since we need to go inside Black Fathom Deeps for another item as well. Make sure to pick up this quest in Oberdeen once you hit level 18. The gloves will be Thorbia's Gauntlets with the plus 7 agility enchant. This item is also pretty cheap on the auction house. The belt item that I went for is the Deviate Scale Belt. The agility and stamina on this are too good to pass up. 
The item is made by leather workers, so it should not be hard to find. It can still be somewhat expensive though, since the materials are not really cheap. I ended up spending about 30 gold to get this. The legs will be the Chose of Westfall. This is a quest reward from the Defiers Brotherhood quest chain that starts in Westfall once you hit level 14. I suggest picking this up immediately and completing all the parts as soon as possible. It does require you to kill the last boss in the dead mines, so have a high level assist you with this. Once you get this, make sure to slap a 100 HP enchant on it. The boots will be the silver linked foot guards, which you can buy off the auction house for a very cheap price. Don't forget to throw a minor speed enchant on here, since all the other twinks will always have this. You definitely don't want them to catch up with you. The materials for this enchant are really cheap, so you can even use this enchant while leveling. For the rings we have the seal of Rin and the blood ring. The seal of Rin is best in slot for any twink at this level, and the blood ring will give the highest stamina possible. After you kill Van Cleef in the dead mines, he will drop an item that starts a quest chain. When you finish this quest chain, you will receive the Seal of Rin. Ask your high level friends to help you out with this, because you definitely cannot solo this. For the weapon, I went with the Nightwatch Short Sword, because of the stamina. You can get this easily off the auction house for a cheap price. As for the enchants, there are different options, but in my opinion the best option is 15 agility to give you more armor and dodge. You could go for life stealing or crusader if you want, but this time we're focusing on flag carrying, so more dodge seems like a no-brainer to me. Lastly, we have the shield. This is why you have to complete the Black Fathom Deep's dungeon. Once you hit level 18, you can pick up a quest inside this dungeon, which will reward you with the Arctic Buckler. This shield has the highest armor and block rating available at level 19. The frost resistant also helps and the stamina is always nice. The other shield option would be the Redbeard Crest, which you can get off the auction house for a really cheap price. As you can see it has less armor and block, but it does have more strength, so I guess you can use whichever one you like better yourself. I personally always go for the Arctic Buckler because of the resist and the higher ratings on it. Make sure to enchant this with greater stamina and there you have it. Your twink is done. Ok guys, that's it for this part of the video. If you're interested in the rest of this battleground, then keep on watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more twink content. Peace out and see you later.